committee to order and if I could invite everyone to stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. See, you you want to, you, you way over there, uh, you want to, <laughs> you okay over there? I'm fine. You can scoot over if you like. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Okay. Well, well we have a, uh, a few excused absences, Ms. Bot, Mrs. Lyons, uh, Joel Harmon, and uh, Curtis Paulson, and looks like his... Um, Peggy. Da, da, Lyon. Peggy Lyon, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, Don Wickstrom's not here, but... I did not hear from him. We don't have... I think we have a quorum still, Sorry. though, and we don't have a lot of uh, business today to, to talk about, but... Uh, so I see we're... We don't have anyone here for public comment. I see Colonel Young, our city councilman, up there, but probably, uh, uh, I guess, go right to new, new business. How about the approval of the minutes? Oh, oh, pardon me. Yeah, I skipped over that. Excuse me. I, the approval of the minutes. Um, I noticed just one little thing, and I'm not the, the best at these, but uh, on page um, uh, under old business six in the second paragraph, we have resident. Uh, about halfway down, let's see, over the years, the island has taken special meaning to the, and then that word is resident or residents. I'll take a look at that. I, probably residents, yes. Yeah, and, and then, and then down under, um, under um, update on the repair where Don Dexter from the Publix uh, with IX instead of <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't work at Publix. Excuse me. It kind of puts it in that way and if I don't catch it, it I have to correct it. As often as I go there sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I go to I'm the shopper, I'm the hunter gatherer in the family. My wife's a great cook. but So those are the only ones I have. Anything else on uh, any other? So I guess we'll entertain a motion that we accept the minutes. I as. make a motion we accept the minutes as corrected. Second. All right, all in favor, say aye. 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 No opposed, thank you. So excuse me for skipping over that before and then now, on the, the new business request for Memorial Island for, um, and I this is my my fault, I, I wrote the request for Carmen, which I guess is the lady's name, and it's Carmine uh, Yanatelli. Yank is his nickname, and Carmine, C-A-R-M-I-N-E, uh, so that's a, a typo there, or, or I gave the information wrong. And Yank Yanatelli was a World War II veteran. He was shot in the stomach or chest, I can't remember exactly which one, and then uh, returned fire and killed the enemy that shot him. Quite a, a story of um, heroism. And, and I think it was in one of the island campaigns, Tarawa or Saipan or whatever. And we're, we're getting all that history together for his, uh, for his service. And I, I guess we need to approve that, although it's, I guess it's been around, but just to make sure everybody knows. I just have to get the city manager's signature. And if he's not going to be available, I will have... Um Mr. Monty Fall sign it. Okay, all right. And, and the plan is for January 12th. I see we don't have our clock, but we're still televised, or anybody out there that might want to attend. And again, Yank Yanatelli, uh, uh, Carmine Yank is his nickname, was one of that greatest generation, those that uh, did so much for our country during the war, basically saved the world, like we've talked about before, and went on to do so many nice things, and has been involved in the Marine Corps League all the years that I've been here, and, and was our oldest Marine a few times and on stage at Memorial Island for Memorial Day and Veterans Day and other things. So so again, the, the, um, the memorial service is January 12th and um, at, two. At, at 12 o'clock. Two. I beg your pardon? At 2 p.m. Well, it's, it's, um, it's oh, 12 to 12 2 p.m. To two. Okay. And um, sorry, and they're expecting 35 to 50 people. And for anyone that's going to attend that, for us also, it's also bark. Uh, what is it? Bark in the park, which probably won't be a lot of people on the island. But I hear that thousand people go to bark in the park, so there may be a parking thing, parking issue. So get there earlier uh, than normal. Um, let's 
agency, since this is signed by uh, the Veterans Council and the Veteran Service Officer and myself, are, uh, do we need a motion in a second to approve it, or have we yeah. we've approved it? Or, well, I, I would go ahead and make a motion to. I'll make a motion. We approve this. Okay. Second. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 And none opposed. And I didn't print a very good picture, but I think that just to remind you all what you remember seeing Yank Yanatelli over the years and his dress blues and it, on the island and and I guess the last time I saw him on the island was in a wheelchair and he's walking with his purple heart cane which is kind of a neat uh, a gift from that from that group so um, I guess moving into old business a recap of the wreaths across America and I guess they were placed on, or not I guess, they were placed in the uh, cemetery at Crestlawn and on the Cenotas at Memorial Island. Um, the next step would be to pick the wreaths up, which will be uh, Saturday, I think, meeting at Crestlawn at 9.30 to pick them up and then following that uh, over to Memorial Island to, to pick those up and tidy up after the wreaths have been placed. Um, let's see, I had a conflict. I had some um, something going on that day. I wasn't actually there on the island. Uh, Colonel Young, did you ha ha do you have anything you wanted to tell us about that? Or it's a it started in Arlington and it is nice and it makes. I went out there right after and it is a beautiful and it touching. Is. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just say that um, um, the. Um, Breeze on the island and the ceremony on the island was um, everything you would want. Just it was a very, uh, a very uh, good opportunity for the people that had uh, lost loved ones and, and, and knew of friends that had, had, had uh, lost their lives um, uh, to um, come together. And um, uh, the wreaths were also placed at, at the grove, and uh, many of the Gold Star families uh, uh, took that opportunity uh, who wouldn't have a cenotaph but had, will have a temporary marker to, to put a wreath there and um, you know the accounts of the people there um, one lady who had lost her husband on active duty uh, apologized for being so emotional she says you know Hallie's been gone for 20 or 30 years why am I getting so emotional but she was you know a, a young uh, wife and her husband died on active duty and, and and she still has a great deal of love in her heart for him to, and to put the wreath there it was pretty incredible and uh, and then just one other account there was this young man and his um, I guess he's probably in his mid 30s or whatever and uh, he said I was over at, uh, at uh, Crestline Cemetery and I, I came over here and I says I'm new to the area uh, but um, I want to share something with you and I'm okay and, and he said, I got two wreaths to put on the memorials at Crestlawn. And as I was putting this wreath for a World War II veteran uh, in place, um, it felt like my, my grandfather was standing there next to me. Mm -hmm. And um, and I says, oh, are you from Vero? He says, oh, no, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm from Ohio. And he says, but I knew my grandfather was right there next to me. I, I, could, I could tell it. And he says, you want to know what my uh, grandfather's uh, uh, nickname was? He served in the Army. And I said, no. I said, yeah, what was it? He says, his nickname, he was a big man, was Tank. <laughs> and so, you know, you know, I think everybody understands uh, that it might be uh, something special for these memorials, but you just never see it until you chat with the people that are there. And, um, you know, Memorial Island looked absolutely beautiful for the, uh, for the Rees and uh, to see them there. And my understanding, they set aside about 100 for Memorial Island. So it was not only the cenotaphs, but it was all of the, the uh, memorials around the island and all. And um, I think um, it was a success. And my sense will be that next year, um, instead of 
whatever, 900 or almost 1,000 or probably be 2,000 in, in the year following that because um, I think the Boy Scouts uh, came from Palm Beach, believe it or not, wow. to the city wow. cemetery to help. <laughs> so, I mean, and then, you know, they weren't expecting, or they didn't know what to expect for the number of people to turn up at the cemetery. Mm -hmm. And he said that the weather was horrendous earlier and they were worried that it might be washed out, but then um, all of a sudden people appeared out of the woodwork for uh, the uh, cemetery and that went quickly. Um, so. so we had enough for every cenotaph plus more on the island. What, were, were there enough for the all the veterans in Crestlawn? Oh, no, no, no. Um, I would estimate that um, there's probably at least another, if not double, nearly double um, in, in Crestlawn Cemetery because they had 800, I believe, set aside for Crestlawn. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I know uh, Councilman Val Zidans and his family came, and I want to say thanks for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Miss Lyons was there, uh, Peggy, and all. Um, so I thought it was an excellent day, um, you know, and we were blessed that we had the good weather. Yeah. Didn't we have a little bad weather after they were out and got blown over? But I, I saw that you had mentioned that families and friends went back out to the island, stand them back up, put them in the right place, tidied it up to, so that they uh, oh could yeah. carry on. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, um, uh, I, I went back out on the island uh, recently after getting back from uh, Maryland. And, and, and again, it's another one of those accounts where y you just kind of stroll out onto the sanctuary and here this man is, <laughs> this big man is policing up the uh, uh, reeds and, and, and putting them back on the stands. And I said, who are you? <laughs> he says, okay, you know, I'm, you know, his name and I'm a recent uh, resident here in Vero. And uh, this is some important to me. He had uh, played uh, hockey against the Naval Academy and he was a Marylander and uh, came here and he said that this means so much to him. So anyway. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks so much. And, and I guess that uh, some of it is about money. They are, I'm sure, will be accepting donations to help next year or in the future, and, and it's a worthy cause and, and happens in uh, cemeteries all over the country and started, as I mentioned earlier, in, in Arlington. So let's see, and then I see what Don Dexter is here. Do, do we have an update on, on the repair or replacement for the Gold Star Families plaque? And, Yes, the, the plaque has been uh, put in production, huh. so I'm not sure when we're going to get the, the new plaque back. So okay. we're, we're actually going to swap we, it out? Okay. Yeah, we, we uh, decided uh, we don't want to take a chance on the repairs not matching up well. So, mm -hmm. And the good thing is that the foundry still had the, I think the term is the casting mm -hmm. in place, mm -hmm. so they were able to reuse that casting and maybe do a little touch up on it. Yeah, that's half the work. And that's, 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 that's half the work, yes. <laughs> and we talked a little bit about the, um, you know, the big sign as you're approaching going on the island. Um, uh, the, the Gold Star Grove is not on there and maybe uh, is there something else, but I know that's expensive to take down and maybe we'll, we'll wait until there's others, but uh, is there a way to, I guess you can't really disassemble and just write in Gold Star no, Grove. No, not, not really. It's uh, <laughs> um, And it's, I want to say last time we had a, a map made, it was 350 or $400, something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. But as we had mentioned before, that whole sign assembly needs uh, some, mm -hmm. some tender uh, loving care and so we'd be looking at doing everything and because and someone had mentioned another uh, oh I know it was the um, the, um, the next gen veterans wondered if there was room to try and mm -hmm. designate the oh, uh, the new mm -hmm. monument out mm -hmm. there so we'll, we'll have to look at that yeah. and see if it, if it would all fit and also I, I hear and we had approved it already that they would still have a monument that would tie into what we have on the island to, uh, to recognize mm -hmm. those that uh, that's, that's more to scale with mm -hmm. the other uh, monuments out I guess they're working on that too, but it's a big project. The, mm -hmm. the other one, I don't know if which one will come first, but uh, but also in this community, somebody could donate enough money to buy them both, if or pay for that sign that we need replaced one day out, out mm -hmm. there too that we were talking about. Um, I guess while we're on the subject, and just because we had talked about it here, but we need to invite them to kind of keep us posted on what's going on just just off the island. Not that it's in our area, but but also then on the island since there's the. Um, 
one of the things that was discussed if we have, uh, uh, you know, there's Iraq and Afghanistan and other parts of the world uh, since 9-11, maybe that could be a, a garden of remembrance with a, a few smaller monuments to each of those possibly. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'll try and get them to keep coming and keeping us posted on what's going on out on the, the other one. And, uh, okay, and, and on a, another subject, but related to the uh, the uh, Gold Star Grove, a couple of those trees uh, were snapped by the wind. So mm -hmm. we've got, uh, I think Nanette has got replacements on order. So oh, okay, I know she she told me about it today. So mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming that there are, they will be ordered and replaced relatively soon. Yeah, I forgot about that. It was a windy, definitely a windy event. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks so much. Welcome. Let's see, um, you got anything to, uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's see, um, <clears throat> I guess under chairman's matters, what, one of the things that I, I've been helping with the Centennial Committee and, and on the uh, chair of the committee for the parade, and uh, not that it applies to us, although, I don't know, maybe our group could be in the parade, but uh, the, the, the big parade to uh, celebrate the 100th year of Vero Beach is going to be October 26th at 10 o'clock, and uh, partly the reason I'm saying that now, I'm going to be talking to the Veterans Council in a little while, and Colonel uh, Coons definitely wants the veterans to be involved in that parade, and and uh, and I guess we're trying to spread the word any way we can. Maybe not. Maybe it's not appropriate for this uh, for the, our agenda today, but uh, unless we were going to be in the parade, I guess we could ride in the back of a convertible or something. <laughs> we should. <laughs> we should. Well, we certainly and and Veterans Memorial Island isn't 100 years old, but it's been there for quite a while. I think early on it was a bunch of uh, Australian pines and people sitting on uh, orange crates instead of the, some of the things that are out there now. The beautiful things that are out there now. So anyway, just thought I'd take a chance to uh, time to mention that parade, October 26th, coming up, and you have to apply uh, for a perm. Uh, you have to apply. Or there's an application to be in the parade. That's what I. And then I, I was contacted by a, a person whose whose mother was a World War II veteran, and she lived in Vero Beach for 50 years. But she was the Royal Navy veteran, and wanted and he wanted to know how he could honor her. Could it be possible to honor her on Memorial Island? And since she didn't join the, it wasn't uh, uh, didn't join the service, wasn't even American military. But um, I don't know. Is there some other just? And again, it doesn't apply because uh, wouldn't qualify to be on Memorial Island, but is there another place, uh, a veteran, uh, family, well, if they're, they were, she was the Royal Navy veteran, so it's kind of an unusual request, but I didn't want to just ignore his request, and I don't know if there's any thoughts on what he might do to, to honor her, her memory. And How about, um, we have the Veterans Day and Memorial Day. How about if it was just an honorable mention some, mm -hmm. somewhere in the program? Yeah, I could mention that to the Veterans Council and see if they'd want to. And, and of course, I thanked him personally for her service and imagine uh, how, how things were in 1942 to 43, 44, 45 for, for any, any of our allied troops. So. Well, let's see. Um, yes, sir. Colonel, Colonel Was she, I mean, Colonel, Colonel was Young, she me. um, local? I mean, I, what, what, I don't understand the rest of the details. Yes, she, um, let's see. Um, I have his name, and I'm, I, pardon me, I guess I didn't write her name down, but she lived in Vero Beach for 50 years. Um, she's, her cremains have been spread already, and and uh, she was a Royal Navy, Royal Navy veteran um, from World War II. Uh, well, maybe we well I mean, I, you know, the committee might want to take it up and consider it, because the comparable person to that was James Densmore too, and he was, um, from Vero, you know, his family helped make the airport, and he was he joined the RAF um, and was shot down in the Battle of Malta, and 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 two does have a cenotaph there. So I, I mean, you just need to see what the rest of the details are and kind of. Well, uh, I'll work on it, and yeah. certainly, I, like I said, but you know, I thanked him for her service. And yeah. I guess it's, uh, some of them that are out there were kind of slipped in before the ordinance was written about the island, and and now it's the, you. Know, would have had to have joined the service from Vero Beach and died while in the service of our country. And I don't think she had to meet all those, but uh, we'll, 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 
chat about it and see what, what it right. might be. Right. Right. You know, how many, if you imagine, let, let's say this, how many people move here whose father or brother or uncle or grandfather had some great service and, and I, I think once there was a person who had the money to pay for it wanted their grandfather on a white horse holding up a sword out in the middle of a memorial <laughs> island. So obviously there's going to be a limit to what we could uh, right, we could right. approve on the island. Well, um, we've, there, there will be two um, cenotaph applications coming for the committee. One's going to be for uh, Chris Clement, his uh, his son Jonathan, that was killed last summer, um, and then uh, Diana D'Angelo, and her her son was killed um, in uh, on active duty. And then you, so those are two more cenotaphs uh, applications that will be coming for you. And then we'll have the eight. There's eight the temporary markers that will be with the grove. Um, so uh, and that needs to go to the city because they that's the, what the legion uh, paid for with their with their contribution. So and also um, when speaking to the next gen uh, folks, I believe probably they will uh, contribute to paying defraying the cost for those uh, uh, buttonwood trees that were lost in the wind. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I think they they feel a part of the of that already, which is which is really oh, oh, enormous. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Thanks so much. Well, let's see. That's all I have. To, uh, Barbara, do you have anything that you, you would like? I'm to good. Say or no, I'm good. Question. And I guess there's some um, nothing else. So <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Yes. The, uh, so our next meeting will be um, January. I'm sorry, February sixth. And if there's nothing else, we're we're adjourned. So thank you. Uh -huh.